now from the home of the Rangers. There's a good look at Globe Life Park here in Arlington. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the American League's Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. It's Rangers baseball, and it comes your way next. And you can feel the butterflies from up here as this young fella takes the hill for the very first time in a major league ball game. Leading off for Houston, left fielder Nori Aoki. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and foul. It's strike one. And Harold, you take a look at these Rangers entering play here tonight. Despite that loss last time out, they've been one of the hottest teams around, winning eight in a row before that. Matt, they're on one of those hot streaks. I mean, everything is going right for them. They're playing great baseball right now. I mean, timely hitting. The bullpen's coming through. It looks like they're, they're rested. They're doing the things they need to do to really be a winning club right now. Another 0-2 home. There's a fastball that just misses ball one expected to get a little cooler as we go on but the temperature at game time 68 degrees now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game and with strike three recorded there he's notched his first career major league strikeout well Matt if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Batting second. Here's George Center Springer. Field. Number four. George yes, he'll swing and miss it. A first pitch slider at strike one. The average not quite where he wants it. Down in the 220s. A dozen home runs. And the RBI counted 35. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Following balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Matt, you know, Dixon's interesting. I've seen a lot of pitchers complain because he's the hitter's umpire. He's really tight on the corners. you got to basically put the ball in the middle of the plate to get that call. Pitchers can't stand it. Hitters love him. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? You know, Matt, you have to watch out for Carlos Beltran these days. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this Batting guy. Third. His game is Second so consistent. Jose Altuve. Into the windup and the pitch. Breaking oh, ball just misses the inside corner. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier Get to up. lay off of when you're opposite-handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Well, he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound, and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying to. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. Evan Gaddis now standing in. He homered back in Wednesday's Gattis. game. Evan Gaddis. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A dangerous changeup to miss high with. It stayed out of the zone. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Well, clearly that change up the pitch before didn't fool him because that fastball right there, he's right on it. He just couldn't put it in play. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Now another one-two. Got him. 
All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Rangers. And behind the plate is Jonathan set. Lucroy. You know, everybody Short talks set. about his ability Carlos. to frame pitches. Oh, one of the best framers in all the game. Oh, but I really like how he catches and throws. This guy can catch. The 0 1 pitch. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Carlos Correa is sent packing for route number two in the inning. Batting six. The Here's right Carlos Beltran. Carlos As Beltran. he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And here's a swing and a miss as the count goes to 0-2 on Beltron. He's falling behind right now after that swing right there. Now he's 0-2. And 0-2, and choke up a little bit and try to put the ball in play. You just got to be in battle mode right now. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Striding into the box, Yulieski Gurriel. And he's Astros. looking to turn things First around. Ice cold at the Yulieski plate in recent action. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees. It's strike one. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Rodriguez is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. So with one away, a couple of teams out of the AL West doing battle in this one. So let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. Stepping into the box, Marwin Gonzalez, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. A cold strike on the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Well, that's back to back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Into the box now, Alex Batting Bregman. Nine. And as you can third tell easily from two. the splits, he's really Alex. struggled away from their home Bregman. ballpark. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. He threw that ball right by him. When you got a guy throwing that hard, you got to really just think about using your hands and just spread out and let your hands fly. They're going to be quicker than your bat. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Astros go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's Nori Aoki. 0 for 1 for him Leading here in this Houston. one. The left fielder, number three, Nori Aoki. This one's flared out toward left. Andrews ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Center Stepping fielder, in and ready for four. another shot, George, George Springer. Springer. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's throwing. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Jose Altuve is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. 
in there, and he's in control 0-2 now. He has been aggressive in this inning. 0-2 on this hitter. The first two outs were recorded quick because he came right after the hitter. I don't think that changes right now either. He's going to continue to be aggressive to this hitter as well. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Ready for another chance. Evan Gaddis comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Well, that was a big two-out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally okay. under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two-out rallies start. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but, man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. 0-2, oh, here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, he gloves it coming off the base. It's in time. Leading off for Houston. Ready Touchdown. to deliver. Here's the Carlos first pitch. Correa. A high fastball is in there. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. A ball hit to Andrus at short. And the fifth <laughs> inning will start with a ground out, one away. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Digging in for his second at bat, the Carlos right Beltran. Fielder, 0 for 1 for him here Carlos in this one. Beltran. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, a good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. 1 1 now to Beltran. Think he held hey. up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Striding in once again, Yulieski Gurriel. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Gurriel. Ball one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. DeShields is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Leading He'll start Houston. things out here in a Designated tie ball game. Hitter. Marwin Gonzalez. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Marwin Gonzalez becomes the first out of the inning. Alex Bregman comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. A door is there. The flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Digging in once again, Nori Aoki. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 oh for 2 at this point. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0 and 1. And he still may not be comfortable. Even 0 and 1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch right here. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive. Still 0 and 2. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Gomez has a read on it. 
And that's the third out. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Digging in to try it again. George Springer. And he's likely Center just field. trying to put one in Number play four. here. 0 for 2 with a George. pair of strikeouts thus far. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. George Springer goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. Jose Altuve is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Good sharp curveball there. The count 1-1. One and one. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. Now, it's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But, man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward Fowles' round. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1-2. Bounce to first. Rodriguez moving to his right. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Evan Gaddis now standing in. Now it's been an 0 for 2 Gattis. effort for him to this Evan point. Gattis. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. I'm looking forward to this at bat right here, Matt. Two outs, base is empty, and you got the power guy at the plate. He's going to let it fly. He must. I he guarantee must. you he will. Yeah, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. The They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Here's Carlos Correa now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Carlos Correa. Here comes the first pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Hey. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Foul back. The next 0-2. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Here's Carlos Beltran. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. On the move is Gomez. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now with the plate, Yulieski Gurriel. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, that's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Really deceptive change up there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Astros go down one, two, three. They can't chip into that five-nothing deficit. Matt Bush comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. It seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. A 5 nothing finish tonight. Country boy Rusty earns his first win of the season, allowing only a single hit across eight full innings. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.
Jets, and they play pretty good. I'd, I'd take that. But going on the road now, first game on the road, this one here, uh, they're going to be tested a little bit. You get to see.